All right, so RICO cases basically are used by prosecutors to go after the mob, that, that you know, everyone was in collusion here. Clearly, we see collusion from the FBI to the Clinton campaign. The problem is, President Trump, your team, you're not prosecutors. So I guess you have to bring this in a civil fashion. Can you hand over what you have to prosecutors that will listen? How does your case unfold, and how do we ultimately hold Hillary Clinton, who I think is the top dog that needs to be held accountable in all this? I agree with you. Um, she is obviously the VIP, as they call it, in a lot of the Durham papers. And um, the truth is, once you connect the dots, which we have, and Durham has been tremendously instrumental in this for us, you can see that, um, you know, today there was testimony, Podesta, uh, Jake Sullivan, people that are currently in the White House knew this was happening, knew there was opposition, opposition research, okayed it. So Durham's going to have to do this systematically. His system is unfortunately a little bit slower than the civil system. And I agree with you. We need criminal charges. This is a real crime against democracy, not just Donald Trump, but democracy. This is not the way our system is supposed to work. So um, I think Durham will get there. I think our case might help him and vice versa. Um, but, you know, it, it, once it comes to the table, once people are taking the oaths, taking the stand, putting out testimony that's inconsistent with the last guy or the next guy, that's how indictments happen. That's how arrests happen. Wow. I cannot wait for you to start taking depositions in these cases. Uh, that I would love <laughs> to be a fly I. on the wall for. Al <laughs> Alina Haba, uh, President Trump's got a real fighter in you. Thank you for coming on today. We always appreciate Thanks, it. Thanks, Grant. Thanks.